just uses his platform to spread hate to every single person. I don't feel like he's a representative person of young people, of Wigan, of anyone, and I just think he's a horrible person. Do you think, do you think, do you think Islam sh can and should be criticised? Is allowed to criticise it? I think you can criticise things, but I think you can't criticise one religion for doing what all the other religions do. I don't see him criticising Christianity. Wait, wait, hold on. Where are Christians blowing people up, beheading people, um, enslaving people. Where do you see that? Um, I've seen a lot of Christian supremacy with the KKK. Look at that. That, that's not a Christian. That, they're, they're not a Christian organisation. They weren't doing it in the name of the religion. ISIS isn't Muslims. Really? Yeah, I really. Honestly, I came here to get my eyes tested. Seeing him on the way, I thought, what a dick. I don't like him. I'm going to confront him while I'm here because I don't like the hate he spreads. I think he promotes people to do attacks towards Muslims. Wait, you said you, you said he attacks, he, he, he doesn't he, like anyone that isn't white? Is, yeah, so, I do believe that's what he promotes. On what, on, on, what do you, on what basis do you... I know I've known him for a long time. I'm not white. I'm Middle Eastern. I've seen a lot of his friends. They're not white. So why, why would you say he, he that? He uses that. He uses that. But, it, it, he uses people. It's like, oh, I've got a black friend. I'm not racist. He uses those people. When has he ever said anything? Has he said something against black people? I've not seen anything, but He's I'm saying he uses people to look not racist when in reality, all of his views... You're saying to me he acts not racist? No. He uses... For example, it's like you can be racist and still have a friend who is of colour. You can still be... How does that work? Well, because... You could be. If you don't like black people, why would you have a friend that's black? Because you can still believe that the white race is superior, and you can still say. So you think Tommy thinks that the white race is superior? Yeah. Where have you ever heard him say that? I think he's a white supremacist. A far where, where, where has he? Where have you ever heard Tommy Robinson? Claim, I'll tell you right now. If you show me one place, one video, and is he's been ten years in the public eye, show me one place where he's ever spouted white supremacists. It's about his actions and language that he uses against Islam. Or against, he uses the P word, he uses horror. What's the P word? I'm not going to say it. A pe I'm trying to actually just follow you. The P word that people use towards brown people. P A C K I. Okay. Yeah. Where, where, can you show I've, me I've some? seen a video of him saying it. He's an outright racist, and everybody knows it, you know. He won't get in. What, what? So, an outright racist is a big claim, and it's an offensive claim because criticizing Islam and doing it openly is not attacking your race it's it's attacking an idea do you think we should be able to attack an idea to challenge an idea to criticize an idea should we be allowed allowed to do that yeah but I think you can do it without spreading hate and then and encouraging violence and I think is that, he encourages violence yeah when his supporters are all violent <laughs> Have you ever been to one of his events? I would never. Do you know any of his supporters? Yeah, I've seen what they're like. They're all idiots in the yellow vests doing violence towards people. So what the yellow vest movement, is, you're attributing to Tommy Robinson? I think he's part of it all, oh, yeah. I think he's part of a big... Alright. You get in here? Are you with me now? You, do you, can I ask him? Oh, let me, I've got him in the conversation. Do you run the yellow vest movement? No, I've never been about anything to do with the Yellow Vest movement. Oh, is this? All right, never, never had anything to do with it. Never even commented on it, actually. What? What do you think about black people? I love them. I love some, most of the people I love. Do you hold on, let me ask you a different question. Do you think white people are more supreme than... No, no, I hate white supremacy. Despise it. Despise it. Why? Oh, you think I do. Can you, can you show me one example where this man here, because I will join you, because I hate white supremacy, I come from a Jewish background. I, I've had problems with, you know, there's nothing more than I hate than a Nazi. White supremacists hate me, you realise that, yeah? Realise that if you do your research, you'll see that white supremacists, all the real far right... There's different types of white supremacists. No, really? What's the different types? Well, you have, like, the white supremacists <laughs> who are anti-Semitic, and then you have the white supremacists who are... What does white supremacists mean? It's when the white race believe that they're superior to other races, and how it's obviously... How do you get How do you get different sorts in? That's because really obviously, for example, like, I believe, personally from you, I believe you are Islamophobic. But, well, you, but I don't, I don't, Those are different things. Let's, let's work on one. White supremacists, because I want to 
to knock that one out of the ground because that one is unfair on any level. You cannot show me, show me one example where this man has been a white supremacist, meaning he believes because of his skin color, he is more superior to me, for example. If you could show me one place like that, and, and everything's documented with this man. Everybody's seen everything he said. I've watched hours of his footage. I've never seen anything like that. If we can agree on that first fundamental basis that he's not a white supremacist, then we'll move on to the next one. I believe that he's targeting a religion where a lot of people in the religion can be, you know, of different colour, people of colour. So Islam gets uh, Islam gets protection because some of its followers are brown? No, I but I'm saying... Islam gets protection over Christianity, so we can criticise Christianity because a lot of the people are white, that's I, fine. I've never criticised, I've not criticised no, either of them, I mind my own I, business. But if I did criticise Christianity, it'd be fine because most no, of the followers are white. I don't think it would fi be fine. So I'm you support saying, blasphemy laws? I'm saying, the point is that I'm making is you walk around, you know, spitting hate at Islam. Spitting hate? Yeah, Explain. hate. Give me well, one like example. Like saying this book is bad, you so know. If, so if I think a book's bad, if I if I read Roald Dahl's oh, book, if I read Roald Dahl's book, are you a book, Christian? And I say this book's bad. Am Christian? I spitting hate against everyone are you a who reads? Christian? Reads, uh, no, no, I'm not. Do you believe in any? Do you, do you criticise Christianity? Um, if people held up the Bible, if they did, if Lee, like Lee Rigby's killer, I don't know if you're aware of this, but when he beheaded Lee Rigby, he handed a piece of paper to a lady in the street and he had 55 verses from the Quran that he said forced him to do it. He said oh, that, not me. If, no, if someone books, handed the Bible... It's the same book as the Bible. Oh, is it? It's you're practically at, the same book. Is it? And you know that because how? It's literally the, the fundamental values of the Bible and the Quran are the same. So, and you know that how? Criticise the people, not the, the religion. Bible. Yeah, I have. You've studied the Quran? Yeah. You know about Muhammad then? Yeah. What sort of man was Muhammad? Muhammad, you was? Um, Muhammad was... I feel like he was all right. He was, was all right. Yeah, I quite like right. his views. On, Talking about anti-Semitism, Muhammad was the biggest anti-Semite around. Do you he know, beheaded you know, 900 you know, Jews. Do you know the Quran's got the Quran's got like 17 times more anti-Semitism than Mein Kampf, Kampf, Hitler's book. Did you know that? You read it. You read it. Let me ask you that. As a Jew, I'm asking you. I, I find. I, I, am I, is, is Tommy allowed to criticize Mein Kampf? Are we allowed to criticize Mein Kampf? I just feel like he criticizes everyone, but he never actually. I, I'm asking you a question. A simple question. Are you allowed to criticize? Is Tommy allowed to criticize? Am I allowed to criticize Mein Kampf? Hitler's book. Hitler's book. Oh. Well, yeah. Okay. Do you know that the Quran itself has far more anti-Semitic sentences in it than the than Mein Kampf? Would you believe that? So, but but why is? So, are you allowed to criticize? Because you told him he's not allowed to criticize the Quran. He's not allowed to criticize a book that has the same. For example, the Bible says things, and not everybody takes it literally. Some people take it literally. So, like what? But he. Like what? Well, for example, it says women are not allowed to speak in church. If I go to a church and speak, we don't take that literally anymore. We're in the 21st century. The Quran probably says stuff that we don't take literally anymore. So does other religious books. So, so this is the issue. If if people took the Christian book literally and started to act upon them in the same fashion that they do the Quran, then we would probably have to criticise the Bible. But the fact is that there aren't even. It's not even an. It's the individuals, not the religion, because not. Not the religion. No. Why would you criticise the people when there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of them, that are following the same idea that is making them act out in a certain way? But literally, like, it's like 0.1% of Muslims, Muslims are committing terrorist attacks, so why are we targeting? Targeting the ones that are practising the actual... The peaceful religion. What peaceful... Islam is a peaceful religion. I believe it's a peaceful religion. Was Muhammad a peaceful man? I don't know much. I wouldn't know much about you him. You just said he was a good guy. Well, from what I've heard, I liked. What Who he did said. you hear him from? I learned about him in school. Okay, <laughs> Muhammad married a child. Muhammad murdered, beheaded, nine hundred Jews. Does he sound like a nice guy to you? Well, not really when you say that, but I'm not going to... Now, now when you gonna, get that piece of information... You're not going to change my mind. I no, what I want to ask you is... That if, I don't care if you follow Tommy Robinson. I want to ask you something separate. Now, if you're saying we're not allowed to criticise ideas or you're not allowed to criticise a religion, if there are millions of people around the world who think Muhammad is the perfect man and I need to be like Muhammad, meaning marrying kids is okay, killing Jews is good, should I not be criticising? Are you not worried? If you're not, a, if you're anti-hate, wouldn't criticizing Muhammad be the first thing you'd like to do? 
Well, I can criticise somebody's actions, but I'm not going to criticise hundreds and thousands of people who follow this religion because they believe it's peaceful, it gives them peace, it makes them happy. My problem is that I believe what Tommy Robinson says and what he does incites so, violence. So, let me, last one. So you think we should criticise the symptom and not the cause? The individual person and not what has incited him to do it? If you've got a problem with terrorism, you should criticise terrorists, not a religion. That's what I think. But with Tommy Robbins supporters, you don't want to criticise them, the ones that you are claiming are violent. You don't want to criticise those individuals. You want to criticise Tommy Robinson. I don't think Tommy Robinson's physically himself been violent, but I think... You haven't seen So, so Mohammed gets protection, but I don't. Yeah. So people who might follow me who do something bad, you want to have a go at them, but Mohammed who tells people to kill people, that's all right. Yeah, you call me a white supremacist. I don't think you're you know? doing enough to... Imagine, imagine this. Imagine I don't know you, yeah? Imagine I walked up and made some sweeping accusation against you, which is what you're accusing me of doing with religion, yeah? Imagine, imagine I've done that, which is what you've done so far. You've called me a white supremacist. When, when you're asked to back that up, you stand there and... Uh, 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 I didn't mean that. There's different sorts no, of white supremacists. I do mean you are a white supremacist. No, explain. I, I just, Give me evidence. Give me one, bit, one thing I've ever said. I just said. You use your platform to... to, to that's different than white supremacists. Just go back to the white supremacists. Because you haven't been able to back up that argument. You are better than Muslims and people who follow that religion. Back that up. Where have I ever said or done that? What, one bit of evidence. Actions. My actions. What, so white Muslims. So say the white Muslims. Yeah. Yeah, say the white Muslim Muslims. converts. So I, I, I think I'm better than them because I'm white. I think you think you're better than them because you're not a Muslim. So that's not white supremacy. white supremacy. Do, do you know that Islam teaches as follows? Do you know this? The core teaching of Islam is that they are superior to non-Muslims. because you know what a dhimmi is? See, I come from Yemen. My background. My grandmother was a dhimmi in Yemen. She was a second-class citizen because she was a non-Muslim. That is supremacy. Not Tommy Robinson. God bless.